Good evening, everyone. Today is day 34 of my 90 day video blog challenge. Um, and I was actually having a conversation with my best friend, Mila. So hi, Mila. And we were talking about how, you know, the universe has a way of doing things that we ask for. If you truly believe and truly have faith that it will happen and come true. And, you know, we pray to God, we ask for things and we ask for desires or placements that we want, whether it's things that we actually really need or whether it's things that we really just want. And we put it out there and we pray on it and we pray on it. And then we like, oh, God, how come it didn't happen? And, you know, sometimes you have to actually put things out into the universe to let it happen, you know, and really have the faith and the belief behind it that it will come true. And then you know, wait for it to happen. Now, one of the things that she said and she read somewhere was about how you go out, you pray, you pray like, like, you know, it's going to happen the next day. You pray like, you know, it's going to get it. Like you're like, whatever it is that you're praying for, you're going to have. And then you go out there and act like you don't pray at all. So in a sense, what it is, is that you ask God for all of this, whether it be, maybe it's, um, I don't know, getting back into school or maybe it's for money to pay for your bills. Maybe it's a business that you want to own or run. Whatever it is, you at, you sit back and you pray harder than ever. You pray like your life depends on it. And you really and truly and really mean what it is that you're praying for. And you put all your feeling and emotion behind it. And then you go out and you act like you don't pray at all. Almost like you're an atheist, like it's not going to happen. But you actually, so you actually work towards it. And then what happens is, is that you find that doors open, opportunities are presented to you because you prayed on this and you let God have it. But you didn't just sit still waiting for him to come. So um, I reminded about uh, a fable. It's one of the fables I actually like to point out a lot to other people. And it just popped in my head, so I feel the need to share it with you guys and the fable is this there is a man um who's in his town the town is about to go through a flood and they're giving all these flood warnings and everything telling everybody okay you have to evacuate so guy is going around knocking on people doors and stuff so they go to this one guy's house they knock on his door and he says you know the flood is coming you know you need to get out evacuate you know grab what you can and come on and the guy says no no god my god is gonna save me um i'm gonna wait it out so then it floods and he ends up on the second level of his house and, a, you know, boat comes by and say, come on, guy, you know, the flood is it's not finished yet. It's still coming. You know, you got to get out now. Come on. Come on. He said, no, no, no. Waiting on God to save me. Floods again. Man ends up on his roof. Helicopter comes by. Come on. Let's go. You know, it's still not finished flooding. You know, it's going to flood. You know, come on. Come on. And the guy says, no, no, God will save me. Well, what happens? He dies. So he dies. He goes to heaven. And he's like, God, how come you never saved me? God said, what do you think the dude knocking on your door was for? Or the one who showed up in the boat? Or the one in the helicopter? I sent all those people to help you. What did you do? So it kind of goes along with what I just said. You know, you have to go out there. You pray for it. You ask God for his help. And then when it shows up. You take it, <laughs> you open a door, opportunity knocks, open a door, you know, but if you go about it and act like it's not happening and you actually position yourself in a place to where you can come across those things that you wouldn't. So let's use me, for example, I wanted a way to lose weight. And the reason is, is because I don't stick to things when it's just for me. If it doesn't have to do with anybody else, then I fall short because I don't really take care of myself as much as I do others around me. I care more about other people's welfare than mine most of the time. And so I got presented with this challenge, which if you want more about information about it, the website is right below. But I got presented with this challenge and I took it. And the reason I do so well at it is because for every 10 pounds I lose, I get to help a child do the same thing. And with the number of obese children that are out there, which I was one of those kids, so I know what it's like. I know how it is, how life is for you when you're a child and you're overweight. So by me actually putting forth the effort and doing what I need to do, 
I actually get to help a child do the same. And it forces me to make those choices. So when I'm sitting there and I'm hungry and I got cookies or celery, mm, I think about that child and I go for the celery. And it's not so, so it's not really my health that I'm thinking about, even though I do think about it and I do want it. But what actually makes me get up and do it and get motivated is the fact that it's not for me. It's for a child. And I do anything for kids. I'm a sucker for kids. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a sucker for kids. So um, I do it. And it's for a kid. And I actually have a place that I'm going to have them send it to, which is called New Directions, which is um, a center that's here in Detroit. So I'm really proud about that. And um, I should lose my first pound, first 10 pounds this week, you know, because I'm already at six pounds. So a couple of more days, I should be at 10, which means I get to help a child. And I'm really happy and proud about that. So whatever it is, um, but if I didn't actually accept a challenge, if I didn't actually take it, then would I still be? in the same position to where I'm actually doing something for someone else, but it's actually benefiting me as well. And I don't think I would. So that's why I say God will put you in a position as long as you work towards it, as long as you go and you do what, do it like you never prayed for it, then God will put you in a position for it to happen and for you to get what your wish is. You know, and that's what they say about the universe. You put it out there in the universe and it will come true. So, but that's my message for tonight. Um, I hope you get something out of it and you guys have a wonderful night. And like always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you.